Hello, hello, Sky Attack LP coming back for the last time. Rocket Slime. Actually, there's a lot more stuff to do after we finish this. But we're going to the last area in the game. The Flying Clawtress. That's right, this game's almost over. And this area is a big one. It's it's huge. It's got a lot of area. And it's got 10 slimes. Friendly slime detected. Request liberation from this chest. Awesome. And here we have Roboglop. Thank you for liberating me, Ryan. Time check you must observe. An airborne rocket cart. Highly advanced engineering. It's like they want us to. I can understand us putting maximum capacity for objects this is the same as other cards. I can understand railways being everywhere, but when you just bring in your giant flying ship and you're just like, yeah, this this is a giant flying ship, I, I think I'm going to put little rocket carts on it so that everyone can go back home if somebody breaks in here and releases everyone. And he's telling me to destroy the plot. Cool. But seriously, what? Is that really the brightest idea? And it automatically comes back. Yep, amazing. And there were three of those warp things there that we could not go through. And there are jinxers here. And I am... Um, Curator, the machines up ahead look similar to those you'd find in a tank. I wonder what would happen if you destroyed them. You should give it a try. Yep, bust down these big doors here. You have to destroy these machines. And seeing as we're coming up on the final boss, I gotta tell you, I am woefully unprepared compared to every other time I've played this game. Because every other time I've played this game, I've gone completely all out with alchemy and wasted so much time getting this to everything. Cool, we find a memo in the cockpit. It's an explanation of the controls. And yeah, it's, it's fairly simple. But this, this is the goal. And basically, it's a giant tank that you get to walk around in. And in some places, it's the only way of continuing. Like here, see these spikes? These spikes would be dangerous otherwise. But nope, I'm just gonna walk straight through them. Because I'm a golem, and I can do that. And I'm being sucked into the center. For... Oh, because there's another golem. Enemy golem! Yeah, you have no chance against me. Oh god. Okay. I thought I had a chance. Okay, he's getting out of his, so. On the plus side, that goofball's gonna get my golem if I ain't careful. Yeah, come over here. Come over here. And you suck at this game, don't you? Smash some stuff up, see if there's anything. These boxes here, only destroyed by golems. Awesome. And it's a good thing they respawn, because I can see someone completely screwing themselves over by destroying a golem and then not being able to get through some of this stuff. And I feel like there's slime. Somewhere nearby. There's a Chimera Wing if you want to get rid of the Golem. Which actually... Where's that Chimera Wing? It, it got flung somewhere. I'm going to take care of this enemy Golem. Why would you hit me? You're a horrible person. And I'm 
just going to get rid of this enemy golem because you are in my way, sir. You are in my way. So let's go back and get our other golem. Five minutes in and we're still not at the first boss. Okay, there's, there's multiple bosses in this area. It's kind of annoying. There's like three tank battles you have to go through before you can get to the end of this area. Get out of here. I always forget how to do that poundy thing. Oh my god. Stop killing me. Yeah, this, this isn't the easiest area to get through. It's not, not as easy as other areas we've been to. But it's still fairly simple if you know what you're doing. Throw this up on there. And I feel like there should have been a slime somewhere. But maybe not. Maybe I'm being stupid. Probably being stupid. Here's a slime. Okay. Florence, me think attracting restless armor from one. Oh, attacking. I th attracting. How the hell did I get that? Unga, how fight them? If me, I wait for chance, then attack from behind or side. Yeah, basically telling you how to attack these. You wait for them to attack you, and then you don't run directly into their blade like a genius. I, I'm a real smart guy, if you haven't figured that out. Come on. Fine. Be that way. Come on. Attack me. I'm going to attack you. And they drop their shield, so if you hit them once, that should be good. And last seed of life in the game. Awesome. And that does give me a full health boost. Get back on my head. I'm glad these guys don't die like enemies because this guy'd be dead by now. I've hit him so many times. Ah, let's load up this cart and then we can start taking care of these machines. Because there is a door. If you don't know already, whenever there's these machines, there's always a door. Unless you're in a tank, in which case it's different, but that's because you're in a tank. Not running around the flying Clotris! Send some more of those guys back. And get this guy. Ah. That's good because the first time you hit them, they drop their shield, so they're not as big a threat after you hit them. Get these last two machines. And get this guy. No, I didn't. Come on. And get this guy. And let's speed this up a little bit. Not speed this up like music time to speed this up. I'm saying speed this up, I need to walk faster. Because this is kinda slow. And here we are, the first battle. With Arm Arnie, welcome to the mighty Flying Clotters, Ryan. Your bravery is admirable. I am Arm Arnie of the Problem Forces. You must defeat me if you wish to face the master. If, of course, you are able. Yes, I will do battle with Arm Arnie. And I will kick his ass. Because that's just how I roll. Run around. You will quiver at the Argonauts. Mighty arsenal of missiles. Oh god, missile man. Oh, you motherfucker. Really? Living statues? You suck. I hate living statues. Let us witness the power of the Schleiman tank. Yeah, you're, you're gonna see the power of me running over there and trying to kill your stuff, but I can't because you freaking have living statues everywhere. That thing is probably going to... maybe not, will it? No, but I'll hit a shield, which is just as bad. Okay. Oh, Gushido. Quickly. Okay. Good job. You died. 
Oh, this is not starting out well. The X is the secret of the Agumat power. And yes, I think we've been over this before in a different tank with just basically a different color scheme, I think. That was pathetic. The axe just hits everything, does damage, blah blah blah, doesn't actually do damage, it just knocks all your ammo out of the sky, which sucks, and go away. I'm ignoring you, because I don't like you. Come on. And I am not going to enjoy this. I think my best bet is to just run around so that they're focusing on hitting me and not actually throwing shit in the tank. That, that is my plan. Come on. Throw shit. Jump. Throw shit. Jump. Throw shit. Bushido stole something. And I don't think they noticed. On the plus side, this is working a lot better than just attacking everyone. Yay, we got this in their base. Ah, you got hit by it. You're new. Of course, I think I got hit by it once too, so. I can't talk, but I'm going to talk anyway, because look at me. I am winning right now. Swatsy, what the hell are you doing? No, stop throwing things in there. Come on, come on. Focus on me, not on everything else. Pay no attention to the slime stealing your crap as I run around in circles, avoiding your attacks, and basically being a douche. And Arm Arnie died. I wish these guys could hurt each other, but no, they can't. And that shield went down, not that one damage was going to scare me. And I'm doing a good job. I'm doing a pretty good job of just dodging. So, Gishido, whenever you feel like coming down and picking up some... Uh... Yeah, there we go, a three missile. You got that three missile. Your skill is impressive. So I will not fail. Stop throwing shit at me. You're cheating. Get that stuff away from the cannons. Get off my head. Hey, buddy. Hey, buddy. Hey, buddy. Yeah, buddy. I'm not sure, but I think this missile will end it. Ah, you. Seriously? One HP? One H Are you kidding me? Oh my god, this... This, why do I feel like I am Chugga Conroy right now? And just end everything with one HP remaining. Finally, something hit it. So, goodbye, Yellow Brick Road. Hurrah! Now go and destroy their engine. Screw you, SWAT. See, I want to Elasto blub their engine. And I picked the wrong way again. I, I'm not enjoying this. I am not enjoying these tanks because go because I always end up hitting their ammo. Blubba! What the hell are you doing up there? And blue balls of fury. I got about half health remaining. That's, that's pretty good. Hey, Baron. Look at you. Look at you jiggling. Ooh, that's nice. But I, 